Hello, my name is Devery, and I'm going to be walking you through the Advanced Fraud Detection Suite. We understand how important it is to protect your business from fraud. With our Advanced Fraud Detection Suite, or AFDS, you can customize 13 configurable fraud filters designed to help you identify, manage, and prevent costly fraudulent transactions. You can access AFDS from the merchant interface. Simply use your username and password to log in. Once on the main screen, click on Advanced Fraud Detection Suite. The incorporated fraud prevention filters include card testing filters, transaction setting filters, e-commerce setting filters, and an IP address administration tool. The card testing settings are used to combat card testing from several different angles. Card testing is a fraud method utilizing bots or computers to run thousands of potential credit card numbers in a short period of time. The goal is to identify which card numbers are current and usable. A business hit with card testing may end up having thousands of transactions to pay for. Next are transaction settings. These allow you to identify high-risk transactions through address verification, card code verification, and setting a maximum order amount. E-commerce settings help prevent common fraud scenarios by validating billing, shipping, and IP addresses as provided by the customer. This helps eliminate fraud where a known card number is being used to make fraudulent transactions to be shipped to someone other than the cardholder. Another filter in this category allows you to block orders from specific regions. This is helpful in eliminating fraud from regions of the globe known for transaction fraud. Last, we have IP address administration. This allows you to block a specific IP address to prevent known sources of fraud. In the event that a fraudulent transaction goes through and you identify the IP address that the order originated from, you can then block that IP address from placing future orders. Now, let's take a look at how to configure and customize the filters. We will use the hour velocity filter as our first example. This lets you limit the total number of transactions received per hour. In order to activate the filter, you must click Enable Filter at the top of the page. You will see that a description of the filter is at the top of the page, as well as any notes to help you choose which action to take in the event that the filter is triggered. In the event that additional steps are required, they will also be displayed here, before you select a filter action below. In this case, we need to specify the maximum amount of transactions we want to allow per hour. For this example, I'm going to use 100. Next, you will need to choose which action to take if the filter is triggered. You can process as normal and report filters triggered, authorize and hold for review, do not authorize but hold for review, or simply decline the transaction. Once you've made a selection, click Save. Let's look at another fraud filter, the amount filter. This lets you set an upper dollar amount threshold to restrict high risk transactions. Again, you will see you must click on the enable filter at the top of the screen, as well as a description and notes that are available to describe the filter's purpose and to give you direction. Next, we will have to set a lower limit and an upper limit. For this demo, I'm going to use $10 as the lower limit and $100 as the upper. Next, you will choose which action to take for this filter. Again, your options are to process as normal, authorize and hold for review, do not authorize but hold for review, or simply decline the transaction. Once you've made your selection, again, press save to finish. Each filter has similar information and options and can be customized based on your business needs to best protect your business. There is also a setup wizard. This will walk you through setting up all of the filters. Take some time to review each of these filters and customize appropriate settings based on your specific business needs. If you need any help, check out the help link here, or you can always contact customer support. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.